Hello and welcome to another Genonite Academy mapping tutorial. Today we're going to be creating an outdoors area. We're going to start with a corridor and then we're going to create a large room to which we apply a sky texture. Launch GTK Radiant if you haven't already and load up your map. Now I'm going to start off with saving this map as a new version. So go save as and change the name of the map to a new version name, say 04, there we go. And as you may remember in the last tutorial we created two rooms and now we're going to create an outdoor area. But before we do that I want to create a small corridor first. Um, so let's go over here and select this and let's make another doorway. Let's make this smaller and copy it, pull it over. You can copy with spacebar if you forgot. And I'm gonna start off with a roof here. So I'm gonna copy this again, uh, lower the height, and I'm gonna expand it to the side. Yeah, this looks good. I'm gonna copy the roof and gonna create a wall. So drag it down like this. Let's pull actually one more out and make the roof wider and let's actually make it a little higher as well. There we go. And gonna copy over the wall to the other side and create a floor. There we go. Oh, and I just noticed uh, this one needs to be pulled out one more. So there we go. And that looks good. Now we just have to fill in that floor bit. So I'm just gonna copy the previous one put it over there. There we are. Now if they apply the textures again because you can see now it's all just wall textures. I'm gonna start off with the floor and show you a neat little trick. If you go to view, show all, and then hide unused, you get a list of all the textures that you've been using on this map. So if I were for instance to add uh, another texture from half for instance. Uh, Let's select this one. There we go. And if we go back to view, show all and hide unused, now that one is added. And as soon as I select another texture again, it's no longer in use, it's also gone from the texture list. So there we are. So now that that is done, we can start creating the outdoors area. To do this, I'm going to select parts of the previous room. I'm going to select the wall and the floor, like this. And I'm going to copy it and I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis. There we go. And I'm going to move it over and we're going to reduce the grid size. And there we are, lined up perfectly. And I'm going to select the walls here. There we are. And I'm going to raise it by a good amount because otherwise you'd be able to jump over it in game, which is not what you want. So there we are. And I'm going to drag out this wall and floor to the side a bit. Let's see, I'm going to line it up a little better first. There we go. If I work with large rooms, I prefer to keep it aligned to the uh, main grid lines. Um, so I'll make it one smaller and then it's lined up perfectly and makes it much easier to edit. Oops. Um, now let's do the other side and I'm gonna make it one smaller again to line it up with the large grid size. Now all we have left to do is figure out a good size for the area and uh, create the walls around it then. You don't want it to be too big, but not too small. Um, actually, um, I'm going to start out with the floor and figure out a good size. Uh, this is a little bit too big, I guess. Um, I think this is good for me. Um, I'm going to select the wall. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to rotate it. There we go. Resize it. Copy it over to the other side. Copy it again, and there we are. So there we have our room. Um, now I'm gonna add 
some more decoration to this because it's a little empty. So I think I'll make little gardens to the sides here. So we're going to drag out a box right here. There we go. I'm going to drag it up. Uh, that's a good size, I guess. I can always compare it to the info player start and figure out a good height. I want to be about half the size of the player, so this uh, seems good. Maybe a little smaller, actually. A quarter size seems good. Yeah, that's, I like that. Now I want this to look like a garden, so I think I will resize this block. I'll make it a lot smaller, actually. Make it more like a, uh, a rim, like an edge, like this, and then copy it over. Resize this and make this even smaller, half the size, and I'll put a nice texture on that, something like dirt or grass, something like that. So let's have a look. Uh, Yavin seems to be a good texture pack for that. Um, let's have a look. So many to choose from. Um, yeah, this one. This is good. And I want to do this exact same thing on the other side, I think. To make it a little bit more symmetrical. Uh, yeah. So I'll just copy this thing over. So select both pieces, copy, rotate, and move it over. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I like this. And now I'll add in the roof, or rather, the sky. So I'm going to select the floor and I'm going to raise it up. There we go. And now, of course, you want a different texture on this. So we go back to textures and we go to skies. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Skies may take a few seconds to load because it's quite big. There we go. And here are all kinds of textures that you can use. But these are actually previews of what it would eventually look like. So if I were to put this on, this doesn't look good at all. Because these are the actual textures, but you need to use a so-called shader. So what you'll need to do is use the textures called sky. Now you just need to find the texture with the appropriate name. So for instance, if you want Yavin, you use the sky texture that also says Yavin. So in this case, that would be this one. It says Yavin right here. So in this case, we'll actually use the texture Yavin, because why not? I like it. And you'll see the word sky written all over the ceiling. So what this eventually will do in game is apply the appropriate textures and make it look like an actual sky. So yeah, we selected Yavin, so it will apply these Yavin textures to it. Now let's add some vegetation to the area. So to select this floor here and deselect it again. Then go to the side views and right click. Then go to misc or miscellaneous, and then MISC model. And here you can choose your model. Most models are located in map objects, so go there. And since we're mapping kind of for Yavin already, let's also go to Yavin. And here are a list of models used in the map Yavin, which mainly contains vegetation. So that's good. So let's pick this grass and let's hit open. And as you can see, it added grass to the area. Now it's a little bit too low into the ground, so I'm actually going to raise it a little bit. So now it's a little bit too high, so let's pick a smaller grid size and lower it again. There we go. Now let's copy this a couple of times and move it to other locations. One there, let's rotate it a bit. One more there, let's 
rotate it again. And yeah, let's add another different model. Let's go to MISC and model again. Map objects. Yavin. And let's pick a fern this time. There we go. Looks good. So there we go. And let's drag it over to this side as well. There we are. It looks good. And let's copy all of these and put them on the other side as well. And then we're going to change them a little bit. Otherwise, they'll look all the same and it's a bit weird. So um, I'll move these over to this side a bit. And this one here, maybe. Actually, let's add another one and another fern as well. There we go. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or join me on Facebook.